Hugh, when I hear the word predestination, it means to me in a theistic context that God has determined in advance the individual uh, future lives of, of every, everyone, whether you'll be, whatever word you use, uh, go to heaven, hell, saved, condemned, etc. Right. Is, that, is that right? And, and if it's right, is that fair? If, we're, if we want to think about what predestination is, one way to begin is, is simply to look at what the scriptural accounts are. And the, I guess the best treatments of that are, are, are in the Pauline epistles where you get these things, as you get in Romans, for example. I think it's in Romans 8 where, where he talks about God foreknew from eternity those who were destined for salvation, in effect. And that what, those he foreknew, he, he predestined, and those he predestined, he sanctified, and the, or, or, he, right, and those he sanctified, he glorified. And it goes through this little sequence like, it begins with what God knows, not what he wills. Okay? And what that suggests is that in predestination, God is as much recognizing a reality as willing that it be the case. So if you say God sort of determines in advance what my destiny is going to be, no, it's not really quite that way in those presentations. The way it looks like is that the, the determining and the recognizing are the same thing. So that there's not this, you know, again, we, we don't want to fall into the trap of thinking that there are alternative versions of us on hand and that God then decides which way it's going to go. It's not, that's not the way it is. There's only one. And some people are going to be saved and some people are not. Is that the idea? Well, that's the way it's usually presented, yes. It, it, the way it looks like is, or the way it looks, is that in these presentations, the, at least the possibility is always allowed for that there are some people who are not going to be saved. If you look at Jesus' remark about Judas, that it would have been better had he not been born, it's hard to think that Judas made it in, uh, in uh, eschatological terms. Uh, so it looks, at least, in a lot of this, as though at least the possibility is being left open, that there will be some who will be lost. And it looks as though there were p that, that people believed it, right? I mean, I think Paul, when he talks about vessels of wrath and so forth, and God creating people that would be vessels of his wrath, it looks like he believes it. It looks like maybe Jesus believes it, at least when he's talking about Judas at that point. Uh, and in a philosophical sense, the, the concept of, of predestination, you're saying that it's not that God determines it, it's, it, it's that there's one way it happens. There's only right. one That's way. That's one way it happens. And, and God knows that. Right. And that way, and, and yeah, knows it and, and, and wills it in the same act, right? That, that's the So what's the difference act. between knowing and willing it? And you, you, did, you, you didn't want it, predestination to be determined, but you, you, you do want God to will it and know it, but not determine it? Well, it's, it's, it is determined in the sense that what God knows and wills that in that one creative act, I mean, that is accomplished, yes. Yes. Right. So, uh, uh, so yes. But it's not as if, it's not as, again, as if God is selecting among options. He just creates the things that he creates. And, and as I said, he the, couldn't have done it otherwise if there are no other options. Well, he wasn't compelled to do it if there weren't any options at all. It's not that there weren't any other options. There weren't any options. He just created. Right, right. And in that creation, God... Everything is settled, right. Everything is settled. And, and it seems in the scriptural things to, to, to include the possibility that some would be lost. And this is something that, is, that uh, I think, in, depending on what, on what brand of Christianity you're talking about or what, what uh, the denomination is, it is viewed with either greater or less embarrassment. Mm -hmm. Some people hardly mention it at all. Yeah. Uh, some people act as though it wasn't there. There's a paper that uh, is written by, by Oliver Crisp in which he starts by quoting a poem of Robert Burns uh, that has, I don't know whether it's a shepherd or, or someone singing God's praises for creating some to be saved and, and, and more, it looks like, to be lost all for his glory and not because of anything they did. <laughs> uh, so I, I suppose if you're, if you, if, if that's your attitude, then you're, you're not only accepting the idea of predestination, but you're saying, you know, that this, this, 
must be some grand demonstration of the of the perfection of God, his justice as well as his goodness, you know, those sounds concepts. like he's got an ego problem. Maybe. <laughs> Uh, Maybe, may but, but it, it, in, in that presentation of it, it, it would certainly look like it. But I think that, I think that the, the I, I think it's the problems and, and embarrassments of the predestination view that have led people to drift in the direction of universalism, that is, to the, in, in the direction of the idea that all are saved, right? There may be options for that in, even, in the, even in the scriptural setting. I mean, one way to look at, at uh, the, the remark that, that the Gospel of John uh, puts in Jesus' mouth on the cross, you know, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do, is one way to read that is say, well, you know, he's, he's changing his mind at that particular moment. Maybe what will happen is that forgiveness will be extended. Well, I think it probably does happen that forgiveness is extended to all. The question is just whether the folks that it's extended to are all able to accept that and whether they're all able to live with it. But all of this was decided prior because there was only one thing that God did. And right. the the feelings that we have that there are these options is, is kind of our own imposition of of, of our own sense of time, because it, from God's point of view, it's all done. From God's point of view, yeah, it, 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 is, it is done, right? From our point of view, as, as far as our behavior is concerned, there are options, yes. As far as God's behavior is concerned, there are not prior options. He just does what he does.